Hey everyone! In this video you will learn what an overscan is and why you may have needed it, as well as we will see how to create it in the Nuke through increasing camera field of view. Ok, let's start. This shot was taken with an amorphic lens and uh, as you can see has uh, quite a bit uh, distortion. This is uh, original and this is with undistort. This line represents how much of the image extends beyond the edges of the frame after we apply uh, this undistort node. We can apply this reformat node and see a full image uh, without any bounding box. You can see that resolution is changed and it become larger. Now let's look at the example. I have two 3D renders, one with overscan and one uh, without it. Let's uh, start from uh, render without overscan. Uh, you can see that it uh, has uh, same resolution that uh, original plate. Yeah, it's the same. According to pipeline, we need to apply distort before uh, merge through the render or our plate. You can see that uh, pipeline. And uh, this is our render. This is uh, distort. And merge. And now you see that uh, something strange happened. Uh, 3D render is stretches. This effect calling uh, tiling. We don't have enough information and Nuke just uh, fills this uh, by stretching uh, render. Yeah, line is not uh, correct. Now let's see what happens if we apply the same thing to the render with overscan. This is render with overscan. Uh, you can see that it has uh, a large resolution. We applied the reformat to the root format, then applied uh, distort and merge. And now you can see that everything fine, uh, no tiling effect, uh, just good as we expected. This render has enough resolution, enough information, uh, that there are no problem after applying distortion. That's what the overscan is for, but it's important to note that overscan is not just about increasing the resolution of the 3D render. It is necessarily two steps. An increase in resolution of the render and also an increase in the camera field of view. It's very important. You can create an overscan with different ways. Um, there are two options for creating an overscan. Uh, first one, uh, we have prepared instruction on how to create an overscan in various 3D packages. Here you can see it. It's slightly different depending on the program uh, you use, although the principle remains the same. Second option, you can use our script for Nuke, which will automatically prepare overscan inside the Nuke. You just need to select node with lens distortion, then a node with camera, run the script. Here, if the lens without dynamic distortion, you don't need to do anything. The parameters are already correct. If the distortion is dynamic, you need to check this box, but now we have a static distortion. So, uh, just click OK. And now we got a few new nodes. First one is the reformat node. It's the same that we already seen. Uh, second one, overscan camera. Uh, this camera we need uh, to export. Uh, this node, it's uh, not very important, but uh, just node. And uh, last one, this uh, setup with uh, distortion. Uh, you can see that uh, it's the same that we use earlier. Ok, now we need to uh, connect this overscan camera to the scene. Then you export it, uh, work in any 3D software that you want, that you're familiar with. After you're done with this step, you render it with uh, resolution, uh, with overscan. And then simply uh, connect uh, your render to this uh, setup with distortion. Just this and this and you get correct uh, result of your work. So, in this video we learned what overscan is, why you have may need it, and how it can be quickly and easily created inside the Nuke. Thank you all.